It is October the 1st, and we have our Katahdin sheep. And the sheep this morning are a point of focus because these are their last few days of being together. Um, the sheep that's right in front here is Dot. And she had two lambs this spring, in the end of February. Matter of fact, it was on leap day in February. I've got some videos with her and her one surviving lamb that she had. He was black. His name was Skipper. Um, she did have twin male lambs, and they were both black and white, but one of them didn't make it out of the sack, so he died. That's one of the things that happens on a homestead. Sometimes you have live births, and sometimes you have dead births. Um, the one that lived, we sold as a fairly young, who was a, a wiener, who was about four months old, um, as a prospective ram for someone who wanted a black purebred Katahdin ram for their flock. The other ewe that we have here, who's also a Katahdin, this is Molly. And beside her are her two lambs of this year. And her two lambs, one of them is being traded, bartered, for a pig. So I'm getting pork as a trade for some lamb meat, which is one of the ways that homesteaders can get a little variety in their diet. The other lamb, it's the one that's walking away from us currently, he is going to the processors. Um, this is Saturday morning and he is going to the processors on Tuesday morning. He has to be there by 9 o'clock on Tuesday morning. So he is going to be turned into steaks and cuts and things like that for our deep freeze. I do have a ram. He is a black ram. His name is Bob Bob Black Sheep because <laughs> of course, you know. Um, currently, he is staying with a friend of mine who has horses. And she wanted him as a weed eater in her horse field. Um, people that don't know about horses, um, they're pretty picky eaters. They won't eat anything like weeds or, you know, like the sheep will eat poison ivy, the sheep will eat dockweed, the sheep will eat things that a horse would not touch with a, you know, 10 foot pole. And she wanted him down there to kind of clear up some of her poison ivy and stuff this summer and that's where he has been ever since about the 1st of February last year. So he's been there all summer and after these lambs, um, at least the one lamb has gone to the processor, the other ones are going to be um, worked up. I'll have to show you what we do with that, but we're going to basically trim feet and we're going to deworm if necessary. I'm going to do fecal on the animals and make sure that see what's necessary to do as far as deworming is concerned. And we're going to get these girls, give them a little rest. Of course, Dot here in the front that's chewing her cud contentedly. She's had a long rest because her babies, both of them, have been off ever since April of this year. She only had the one to raise and he's gone. So she's had a good rest and recovery time. She should be able to produce a good lamb for me this year. Um, Molly back there, she's been nursing until just fairly recently. Um, those big old lambs are still taking them a nip and tuck here and there. So they've got a lot of, she's put a lot into them. So she needs, you know, a couple weeks to get herself back into the groove. Um, we've been giving them free choice minerals always. And like I said, if I get them dewormed if need be and get their feet trimmed and that type of thing taken care of, then they will be ready to rebreed. I'm hoping to rebreed between the 15th and the 30th of October this year. Um, I like having early babies, but I also don't want winter babies. So it's just too much for me to deal with with the arthritis and trying to get to the barn and back. Um, but anyway, that's what's going to happen with the sheep. And Bob Bob will have his feet trimmed and he will have his deworming done before he comes back to the place. And then when he comes back, he will be breeding these girls and I will be selling him this year. So he will be either going as a replacement ram and for someone else. And if I can't find him a place to go, then he will go to the deep freezer and be turned into some hamburger this year. So, because we can always use some more hamburger or lamb burger, whichever you want to call it. 
Um, but that's the plan, so I wanted to kind of give you a little sheep update.